What is it I love about Soho? Well, it starts with coming from an unusual background and um, often feeling like I didn't fit into places. You know, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I grew up in a gay household. Uh, my grandmother was a midget. Soho's always changed and that's a great thing. But the way it changes is adding layer to layer to layer to layer. And every time you put a new layer on, you don't get rid of the layer that came before. This is why it's so amazing. So at the moment what we're seeing is that people are removing layers <laughs> to put on something else that basically nobody wants. Nobody benefits from these changes. You know, a lot of people from all over the country who don't fit in often find a home in Soho. It is good for people watching. I mean, I don't, I'm not nosy, but <laughs> I am actually. No, I'm not. My Soho welcomed eccentrics. That's me. I'm a singer-songwriter and the founder of Save Soho. I meet people in Soho all, all, all the time and it's um, now more than ever mainly because of Save Soho. But what we're battling is really asking the government at the moment to change the national planning framework so people can't just come in from the outside and start you know, messing with this amazing square mile. I just want to say that to everyone that you know, feels that Soho is being ripped apart. It is by some people and we're trying to fight that where we can. Madame Jojo's was closed down for lots of different reasons, but the owners of this building, who, who are friends and are an important part of Soho, have every desire to reopen it with the same ethos that it was opened with originally. I started working at a restaurant on Great Wimmel Street in 1994 and uh, proudly told my mother that I got a job as a chef and she said to me on the phone, um, oh, what street's it? And I, is that on? And I said, Great Wimmel Street. And she said, oh, well, that's where I used to work. And then I found out that it was the same street that my grandfather worked on as a compere and comedian. And my mother started her career as a windmill dancer at the Windmill Theatre. When I found out that that's where my family had been for a long time, I started feeling like I belonged somewhere. Yeah, so do you think, it, is it possible to sum up what, what Soho means? I try to, yeah. Sorry to saw someone, I know, I know that guy. <laughs> it's a really good singer. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.